Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Creating a fire detection system using YOLOV8 with Python involves several steps, including data preparation, model training, and real-time inference. Below is a comprehensive tutorial to guide you through this process. Step 1, Set up your environment. 1. Install required libraries. Make sure you have Python installed, preferably Python 3.7 or higher. You will need the following libraries. Torch, PyTorch. Open Python. Numpy. Pillow. Yellow Fate, from Ultralytix. You can install these using pip. Step 2, prepare your data set. 1. Collect data. Gather images with fire and without fire. You can use public data sets or create your own. Ensure you have a balanced data set. 2. Label your data. Use a labeling tool like LabelIMG to annotate your images. Save the annotations in YOLO format, text files with bounding box coordinates. 3. Organize your data set. Organize your data set in the following structure. Step 3, train the YOLOV8 model. 1. Configure the model. Create a configuration file data.yaml that specifies the paths to your data set and class names. 2. Train the model. You can train the YOLOV8 model using the following script. Step 4, real-time fire detection. 1. Load the YOLOV8 model. After training, load your model and use it for inference. 2. Set up real-time detection. Use OpenCV to capture video from your webcam or a video file. Step 5. Evaluate and improve. 1. Evaluate model performance. After testing, analyze the accuracy of your model. You can use metrics like precision, recall, and map, mean average precision. To improve the model, if the performance is not satisfactory, consider gathering more data, fine-tuning hyperparameters, experimenting with different model architectures available in YOLOV8. Conclusion You now have a working fire detection system using YOLOV8 in Python. This system can be further enhanced with additional features like alert systems, logging, and more sophisticated data handling. Remember to maintain a balance in your data set and continuously evaluate your model's performance for the best results.